Warning, the following may contain sexual imagery, violence, and strong language. This may create a not safe for work environment. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously, at the Mountains of Badness, Issei discovered puberty, that his love life is just a dream and that Japanese cannot deal with attractive people. Also, Crimson Overload. And now, the continuation. Welcome at the Mountains of Badness, where I, Nightmare Alpha, present to you the Eldritch Abominations of Literature. Today, we continue with High School DxD and see what happens after Issy and the gang decide to watch porn. Oh my. Part 4 I seriously want to grope some tits. I'm hugging Matsuda, who can't stop crying while all of us are watching the last video of our porn DVD marathon. After leaving the school, we started watching porno with high spirits. We were all happy and excited when we started watching porn straight after school, but as we watched more porn, we started to get depressed instead, because the question of why don't we have a girlfriend came into our discussion. I felt like crying after we discussed it seriously. Well, my friends, this is why you don't watch porn so heavy. It's not good for the mind. Matsuda hasn't stopped crying since free movies back. Free movies back, oh my god, Japanese porn's around two hours long. So that means you have watched at least six hours straight porn. Wow, your willies must be really, really struggling at this point. Motohama is trying to act cool, but there are tears flowing from his eyes behind his glasses. Thirty minutes ago, Motohama said this like with a low with a low voice. I asked to come behind the gym by a girl. That was my first time getting mugged by a girl, so I was about to cry after hearing that. Oh my god, they got mugged by girls. They are seriously shitty people. I wonder what three boys who are all gloom while watching porn look like. Sad. The answer to that is sad. Obviously, the answer is three unpopular guys. No, that's not how you describe something like that. Damn it! I feel like hating this world after thinking that there are guys of my age who are having sex with a girl right now. Well, happens to the best of us. While thinking about it, the last film ends and it's already dark outside. Oh god, that means we have watched at least four... Oh my god. When I look at my watch, it's already 10 o'clock. I already told my parents that I'm at Matsuda's ha place, but they will worry about me if I am stay here any longer and I will be also late for school tomorrow. Wait, 10 o'clock p.m.? School ends without... Wait, let me... Oh my god, they started watching porn around 4 o'clock? That means they have watched at least 5 to- Oh my god, just no. Just no, oh god. Uh, I don't want to make this porn math anymore. Uh, where was I? Anyways, I am get going now. After I said that, all of us stood up and got ready to pack up. See ya! After we split up with Matsuda at the entrance, Motohama and I headed towards home. It's a beautiful night. Since it's a good night, it's normal to feel like watching porn. Motohama said some weird crap while looking at the sky with a big, big sigh. He looks really down. Well, by tomorrow, both Motohama and Matsuda will have returned to their usual selves. See you tomorrow. Yeah, have a nice dream. I split up with Motama on my way home, but he doesn't seem energetic while he's waving his hand to me. I will probably send him a text message afterwards to cheer him up. A few minutes pass by after splitting up with Motama. I'm walking towards home, 
But the energy flowing within my body is rising. Oh, a boner. Thought you had already a boner. Eh. It's a symptom of the overflowing with power at night thing. Oh, it's a thing now, okay. Like I thought, there is definitely something wrong with my body. Already did this, puberty bro. This isn't norm a normal phenomenon. My eyesight improves along with my other five senses. Oh, he's becoming Superman then? My eyes and ears became especially good. I can even hear conversations from people's houses and see the streets even through its night. Oh god, he transforms into Batman. This is really weird since I can ha even see clearly at places where are no street lights. It feels like the strength is getting stronger day by day. I should use my Frank Miller stupid voice for this maybe. That's because the chills I'm feeling all over my body right now is a the real deal. The real deal, brother? I can feel I'm being watched by someone for a while now. And the chills I'm feeling. I can feel a mysterious atmosphere ahead of me. My body is shaking insanely. The shaking gets stronger. So he's starting twerking now? It's a man. There is a man, wearing a suit, glaring at me. He's glaring at me with fierce eyes. Oh god, he has a pervert scan. It feels like my body will freeze just by looking into his eyes. Isn't this what you can call killing intent? No, I'm pretty sure killing intent looks different. I can definitely feel hostility from him. No, this is, this is something more dangerous. This is definitely killing intent. The man walks closer, silently. He's walking towards me, as we know. So, he is after me? Probably. A pervert? A dangerous person? Am I in trouble? You're always in trouble, you're a pervert. This is bad. That's because my body hasn't stopped shaking? Why did I have to encounter, encounter some dangerous guy on my way home? This is rare, to meet somebody like you in a place like this. Huh? What is he saying? No, no. It isn't weird if crazy people like him talk nonsense. Oh, so you're not a crazy person then. So he's a dangerous guy after all? I thought we figured this out two sentences ago. Oh shit! What should I do if he's taking out a knife? I don't know any self-defense martial arts, nor have I ever had a fight before. Wow, containing you're such a loser, this surprises me. I I know, my strength, which powers up during the night. That's it, I can use it to run away from here. Walking backwards, I put some distance between us. The guy who is releasing a perverted atmosphere starts to walk towards me. He is creating a perverted atmosphere? You are a what? Trying to run away? Who is your master? It must be a person with a very low rank or with a weird hobby to choose this place as a territory. So who is your master? I don't even know what the heck you are t saying. Step. I turn around and sprint to the place I came from at full speed. Fast. I'm insanely fast, so he's becoming the Flash right now. It's weird for me to say this, but the speed of my legs during night is insane. So he's a Night Flash? Eh. I just continue to run while going through different streets at night. I keep on running and go into unfamiliar streets. I haven't lost my breath yet. I can keep up ru on running. If that's the case, then I'm going to run until he can't catch up to me. After around 15 minutes, I come into an open area. It's a park? I stop running and walk instead. I walk up to a water fountain while inhaling some air. Oh, there's the fountain again. I look around the park under the street lamp. Something feels mysterious about this place. Oh yeah, it's a fountain again. I know this place. I remember this park. That's right. This is the last place I visit I visited on my date with Yuma-chan. Man, what a coincidence. 
Or should I call it a miracle? I call it plot contrivancy. Did I come here unconsciously? That can't be. Chills! I feel chills on my back. Someone is behind me. That's what I feel. I turn around slowly and a black feather drops in front of me. Is it a feather of a crow? No, this isn't. Did you think I'd let you escape? That's why lowly beings are a pain to handle. The person who appeared in front of me is the man wearing a suit, and he has black wings growing out of his back through the coat. Okay. It's the suspicious guy from before. An angel? No, no, this isn't a fairy tale, so that can't be. Eh, probably. Is it cosplay? No, old man don't make cosplay. Or not, at least not to my knowledge. It looks too real for cosplay. Are those re real wings? No way. Tell me the name of your master. It's a hindrance to get bothered by your kind. For that, we will... Wait, are you a stray? If you have no master, then that will explain the worried expression on your face. The suspicious guy is mumbling to himself. Don't make up stuff on your own. Oh, you're the guy who makes stuff on his own, so, eh. The situation is serious. But I suddenly remember the incident I had in my dream. The dream about that date. At the very end of that dream, I was killed by Yuma-chan, exactly in front of this water fountain. Oh, we're recapping that even though we already cleared this up in the last part? Yeah, by the Yuma-chan who had black wings growing out of her back. And there is a guy with black wings in front of me. Is this the thing where a dream becomes reality? Hey, hey, how did a, a hot chick turn into a guy? No, that's not important. What's important is the situation I'm currently in. Oh god, we're having a gender change. What is going on with your mind? If this is going according to that dream, then the next thing that will happen to me is... Hmm, I don't feel any presence of your master, nor your comrades. I don't see anything that is trying to hide its presence either. And there is no magic cycle appearing here. According to the current situation, you are astray. So it won't be a problem if I kill you. The guy who just said some scary stuff raises his hand. No matter how you look at it, his hand is directed towards me. I can hear a noise. I know this phenomenon. It's the Undertaker? Something that looks like light starts to gather in his head. Oh yes, it's the Undertaker. Hold on a sec. This fantasy stuff should just stay in the, in the dream. The light then shapes itself into something resembling a spear. A spear! Ooh! Wait, is that an edge reference? Wait, no. So it's a spear! Oh my god. I was pierced in my stomach by that thing in my dream, and I went through hell. I'm going to get killed. Yeah, you probably get killed if somebody reads that. By the time I realize it, it has already pierced my stomach. Again, why? You have the worst dodging skills, bro. Then something comes out of my mouth. Blah! Lots of blood comes out of my mouth, followed by intense pain. That's not how this usually works, but okay. It hurts. It hurts so much. I fall down onto my knees on the spot. I feel my insides getting burned. Oh, now we have a sentence that, that tells you that you go to the ground before you go to the ground. Funny. The pain spreads throughout my body, and it hurts so much that I can't stand it. Yeah, that's pain for you. Intense pain. Yeah, I get it. Doesn't even start to describe the, this pain. You cannot believe what kind of pain I'm feeling right now. I try to pull out the spear with my hand, 
but the pain spreads to my hand as soon as it touches it. It's hot. It's extremely hot. Oh god, I get infringement from Paris Hilton right now. There are burn marks on places that touched the spear. Ah! I start to whine. It hurts. It hurts so much. Wow, he's a more whiny bitch than Shinji is. Since my hand is in this state, it's the spear burning my insides? Probably. Then I thought like that the pain increased. So this is how it feels like to get your inside burned? Mm, cannot talk of out of experience here, but probably. My tears aren't stopping due to the intense pain. Wow, even Shinji didn't cry. Step, step. Then there is the sound of footsteps coming towards me. I look up and the mysterious man makes another spear in his hand. It must hurt. Light is poisonous to beings like you. Getting hit by it will result in fatal damage. I thought this weakened spear would be enough to kill you, but your body is tougher than I thought, so I will hit you with it again. But this time, I will put a bit more strength into it. Now, you are done for. Is, this, is he trying to finish me off? I'll be killed if I get hit by that thing again. As I'm thinking, I start to look back on the dream I had. Crimson. Oh no. A brilliant crimson color will... No, there is no way she will help me. That was a dream. So this also... So this is also a dream then? If it's a dream, then please help me. Even... If it's a dream, I don't want to be in this situation. Who? Then I thought I heard the sound of the wind. An explosion materializes in front of me. Did somebody just transform into a Power Ranger or what? Then I look up. There's smoke coming from the palm of a man's hand. There's blood spilling out from his hand. Don't you dare touch him. A woman walks past me. Crimson hair. I can tell who this is. Even just her back. By, by just her back. Excuse me. Is that the person I saw in my dream? I wasn't able to see her face in that dream. But now I'm certain that she was the person from my dream. Crimson hair? You must be a woman from the house of Grammarie. The man glares at the woman with crimson hair, with eyes full of hatred. My name is Reyes Grimmery. How are you doing, fallen angel son? If you are trying to hurt this boy, then I won't hold back. Reyes Grimmery. Yes, she is the senior student at my school. The beauty with crimson hair. Foo foo! Well, well. So this boy belongs to you. So this town is also part of your territory then? Well then, for today, I will apologize. But I advise you to not let your servants loose. People like me might slay him while having a walk. Thank you for the advice. This town is under my surveillance. So if you get in my way, then I won't hold back. I will say the same to you, Harris of the House of Grammary. My name is Donasak. I hope we won't meet again. The man spreads his black wings and his body starts to float. He then flies up into the sky. The man glares at Rhea Senpai and me once, once and then disappears into the sky. So, is it safe now? I Part feel a five. bit relieved. I will kill you if you don't blurry. wake up. And it feels you will like be cut into pieces if you don't wake up. My eyes I blur. Up. It was huh? morning. Isn't it's this really bad? Morning if you wake it's, up, this is definitely bad, isn't what it? Is yeah, you're the meaning pierced of this. and burned inside. Did I have a bad. bad dream again? That Ta -da. has to be a, a Are dream. You about to but faint? it looks too this real. Now I'm here, sleeping in my bed. I hey, was 
Woken Where is up your house? by the alarm clock sent by a younger to voice. While I Looks like down, I was dreaming but after I all. can't hear what she said. This time, then it wasn't you, my chan, consciousness, but a weird guy who was chasing after part me. Four. But they both had black wings. I shook my head. Pull yourself together, me. What? Pull yourself together, me? Okay. Why do I keep on saying those, seeing those kinds of dreams? If I remember correctly, I went to school yesterday as usual, and it was normal as usual. After school, I went to Matsuda's house and had a porn mar marathon with him and Motorama. Don't remind me of that. When I returned home, on my way home, I was attacked by a weird person with wings. That was a weird sentence structure. Two times home, okay. Then I realized the unusual state I was in. I'm naked! Well, okay. I didn't have anything on me. Really? You you lost your ding? Wow, that's that's not good. What the heck is this? I don't even have my underwear on. I'm fully naked. I don't remember it. I don't remember coming home. I am I am losing my memory at this age? Eh, madness does this sometimes to you. I also don't have a habit of sleeping naked either. Uh, huh? I heard a sweet voice. When I carefully looked besides me, shoo, shoo. There's a crimson-haired girl sleeping beside me. Wow, I should start a crimson count at this point. And she's naked. Her snow-like white skin is too bright for my eyes. Her skin looks very smooth, and it's very bad for my eyes. Smooth skin is bad for your eyes? That's new. Huh. No matter how you look at her, it's Senpai, our academy's idol. Her crimson hair, scattered over the pillow, looks extremely beautiful. Rias, Grammary Senpai. Huh. 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 Calm down, me. Oh yeah, at times like this, it's good to count prime numbers uh, to count you down. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three. Duh! I can't! I can't calm down! I'm impressed that you know so many prime numbers also. Why am I sleeping with Rhea Senpai? What happened? What happened? Well, think about your dream. I don't remember. I don't remember one bit. Don't get hysterical. Why? I have to remember what I did. No. Why am I in this situation? Did I... Have sex with Senpai? Don't jump to conclusions. Uh, do people lose their virginity like this? Not usual, but it often includes alcohol, so you're fine. Impossible. That's impossible. Remember me? Try to remember valuable memories, me. You should stop talking in this way. Don't call yourself me, okay? What did I do? What kind of stuff was I able to do? Oh my god, is he panicking? My head is about to explode. Mine also, because my head is getting confused. But I get cornered in the next moment. Issei, wake up, it's already time for school! Okasan, is Issei still in his room? Offers note, Okasan means mother or something like that. Oh, Tosan, his shoes are in the entrance, so he came home. Jeez, staying at his friend's house so late, on top of that being late for school, one that I won't forgive. Um, offers no, oh, Tosan means father. Thanks for that, why not include it then as this? Why is it called a translation if you leave in Japanese words, I don't know. The conversation between my parents on the first floor can even be heard up here. When it was followed up by footsteps coming up the stairs, the footsteps carried the sound of anger. It's different from her usual footsteps. Oh, you know her, your mother, by the way she walks? Okay. Mom's on her way. Wait, hold on a sec. If she sees the situation... 
That it will be really bad. What? Then it will be really bad. Sorry, my bad. My ba bad. Uh. Wait, I'm already awake. I will get up now. Jeez, I won't forgive you anymore. We need to have a little talk about this. Mom is pissed. She's coming. Mom is coming to my room. There's no way I let her see the situation I'm in. Hmm? Is it morning? Huh. Senpai is wiping her eyes besides me. She woke up. She woke up. Gotcha. The door bursts open. At the same time, Senpai also lifts her upper body up. My eyes and Mom's eyes meet each other. She looks mad. She looks very mad. Good morning? Senpai greets my mom with a smile. Mom's eyes move from me to Senpai. Then Mom's face froze. Well, my face would be also frozen in that situation. She moves her eyes to me again. I avoid eye contact. Get ready quickly! While using a machine-like voice, she closes the door slowly. After a moment, I hear the loud noise of her feet heading down the stairs. Oh, oh, Ocho-san! What's wrong, Ocho-san? It looks like you just saw a ghost. Was Issei doing something about it in his room again? S -s Six! Issei did it! With a foreigner! Oh, Ocho-san? Ocho-san? What happened? International! Issei did! I think it means something else. Ocho-san! Ocho-san! Calm down, Ocho-san! I can only cover my face with both my hands. Yeah, face palming it is. It's easy to imagine what's going on downstairs. How can this happen? There's definitely going to be a family discussion after this. Yes, yeah, seriously. What kind of excuse can I use to explain the current situation I'm in? Your family is quite lively in the morning. Senpai got up from my bed and went to pick up her uniform from my desk. A naked senpai. The naked body of a beautiful girl. Hmm, huh, happens. Hmm, you know, I can see a lot of things. Oh, I can also see a lot of things. For example, the bullshit that's going on here. Her small hips, her long white legs, her thighs, her nicely shaped butt. Oh man, you know. I like big butts and I cannot lie, but this is not really my thing. And her opi, which are quite enormous. Oh, enormous it is. Okay. I can't even see her nipples clearly. Well, somebody deactivated the filter, but I will not show this in the video. Why aren't you hiding them? Why aren't your, you showing any signs of hiding them? If I had Motohama's free size scouter, I would have easily gotten her measurements c accurately. Right now, I'm regretting the fact that I don't have that ability. Don't worry, bro, it's not something to boast about. But I know one thing I have seen a lot of women's naked bodies from magazines and videos, but the beauty of Senpai's body is much greater than them. Oh my, oh my, even Photoshop is not as good as the body of a real girl, right man? How should I put it? Art? A body with a perfect shape and curves? It looks like one of those nude body paintings or statues shown at the museum. Oh my god, it's art. Perfect. The only thing I can say is that the beauty was still amazing after she stripped her clothes. Yeah, naked girls are awesome, I get this. But staring at her is making me feel bad. Really? I think it should fill you, will fill you with good things. I can't become a complete pervert too late, bro. Senpai. I can't help but say it. What is it? Opai. I can see everything. Why isn't there a translator's note on Opai? Well, okay. I say it while looking away from her. I want to see it, but but that's that. I have to endure it. If you want to see it, then go ahead. Senpai says, daring while putting on her uniform. She's 
putting on a smirk. Hmm. Japanese words like that exist, apparently. An electric shock went through my body. Oh my god, that's not good. Go away from this power line. Tears are falling from my eyes because of a phrase you can never learn about at school. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm deeply moved by the beautiful phrase. Is your stomach alright? Senpai asked me. Stomach? I turned my stomach while watching Senpai get dressed. You were stabbed yesterday. <gasps> With that statement, I was fully alert. That's right. I was stabbed by a guy with wings at the park yesterday. That's the weirdest gay sex joke I will ever make. I was stabbed by a spear that looked that looked like it was made up of light. But there aren't any marks left on my stomach. I was sure there was a hole. It's not kind a kind of wound that will heal in one day. There was so much blood coming out of it. That wasn't a dream. Or was it a dream? By the way, the incident from yesterday wasn't a dream. Senpai says if she reads my mind. I, I sh was sure I was wounded. I healed it. It was critical, but thanks to your tough body, it was healable with my power in a night. I shared some of my demonic powers with you by embracing you while we were naked. I was able to do it because we are from the same clan. What is this person say? Huh? Hugged each other while naked? <gasps> eee! Wait, does that mean? It's all right because I'm still a virgin. She says it if she's reading my mind again. Oh, good boy, you not did her. I'm not sure if I should congratulate you on that or say you're a pussy. But okay. Ah, uh, is that so? For some reason, I was relieved. Yep, yeah, probably. Or should I be re relieved? Don't make such a weird face. This world is surrounded by more mysterious things than you can imagine. Yeah, ever met Amigo? That's funny. Senpai approaches me while in her underwear. She starts to pat my cheek with her slim fingers. My face gets red. It can't be helped if my face gets red, since a beauty like hers is doing it. I am Rias Grimory. I am a devil. Devil? Huh? A joke? I'm not really sure. And I'm your master. Nice to meet you, Hideo Issei-kun. Can I call you Issei? But her devilish smile looks real. End of part 5 And that concludes today's episode. And what did we learn? Watching lots of porn makes you depressed, spears hurt people, and smooth skin hurts the eyes. Apparently. Hope to see you next time for the conclusion of the chapter. Until then, I'm Nightmare Alpha. See you next time. Oh, you're still here? That means one of three things. One, you liked what you heard. If that's the case, I recommend that you show that by using the small thumbs up button below. Two, you wanted to see how deep the rabbit hole goes and stayed till the end. In that case, you might want to see how it continues by pressing that subscribe button. Or three, you fall asleep while listening. I wish you sweet dreams if that's the case and hope you come back for more sleep-worthy content. If you want to know something or have issues with what I'm doing, you might want to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to call me an asshole in the comments. And now for something else. Recommendations. As always, I recommend Blasperus, who does the art on the show. Check him out on DeviantArt. Link is in the description. I 
also recommend Solo Soul's latest and last livestream of the Japanese version of One Piece Burning Blood. It's always fun to watch them. Click on the left if you're interested. And because of the upcoming release of Dragon Quest Builders in the West, I recommend Blandrew's review on the Japanese version of the game. He might be also one of the most funniest guy I ever met, so make sure to check him out on the right. I hope you had fun, see you next Thursday with more... badness.